The idea of Ethereum was conceived in 2013 by Vitalik Buterin, who was 19 years old at the time. Vitalik is a Canadian of Russian origin. A math and computer science prodigy, he was drawn into computer games initially like many of his peers. His father, also a computer scientist, introduced him to Bitcoin, which Vitalik embraced and started exploring with enthusiasm. He co-founded Bitcoin Magazine in 2011 and worked as a journalist there. He also collaborated on Colored Coin projects. You probably remember Colored Coins, which we covered in detail in our section on Bitcoin. They enable basic implementations of smart contracts and digital assets on the Bitcoin blockchain. Vitalik wanted to expand the concept of colored coins to enable larger, more flexible, and powerful applications to run on the blockchain. When he faced resistance to his idea from Bitcoin core developers, he decided to launch his own project and to design it from scratch. Vitalik is a prolific blockchain thought leader. His talent has been recognized even before Ethereum achieved global success. At a very young age, he was placed in a class for gifted children. He won a bronze medal at the International Olympiad in Informatics in 2012 at the age of 18. In 2013, he wrote the Ethereum white paper outlining his vision. In 2014, Vitalik received the World Technology Award for IT software, along with other distinguished winners such as Elon Musk, who received the award for energy. Also in 2014, he received the prestigious Thiel Fellowship and dropped out of the University of Waterloo to focus on Ethereum full-time. The Thiel Fellowship was created by the billionaire entrepreneur and investor Peter Thiel, who co-founded PayPal and Palantir, both of which became multi-billion dollar companies. He is a prominent venture capitalist and was the first outside investor in Facebook. With his fellowship, Peter Thiel aims to sponsor talented young people under the age of 23 who leave the traditional path of college to pursue projects with high global impact. Such projects can include scientific research, startups, or social enterprises. With less than 1% selection rate, the award is considered more competitive than gaining acceptance to the world's best universities. Having received funding from Thiel, Vitalik went on to gather a talented team of co-founders and developers and to pursue his vision for Ethereum. And oh boy, was this a grand vision. The team wanted to create Web 3.0, a more decentralized and smarter generation of the Internet powered by Ethereum. Since they needed more funding, the founders launched an initial coin offering or ICO in July 2014, which was effectively a pre-sale of Ether, a native crypto asset of the future Ethereum platform. They managed to raise about $18 million worth of Bitcoin, which was the currency they accepted for contributions, and this represented the largest ICO at the time. This form of startup capital raising through crowdsourcing was about to experience widespread adoption and parabolic growth over the next years. We'll talk more about ICOs later on. With sufficient funding secured, the founding team had many months of hard work ahead of them until the Ethereum network went live in July 2015. In the following chapters, we'll discuss some of the key innovations Ethereum brought to the world. You'll learn about the Ethereum Virtual Machine, about the Turing Complete Programming Language for Smart Contracts called Solidity. We'll talk extensively about the universe of decentralized applications and we'll describe a well-functioning ICO crowdfunding platform. Finally, we'll review the concept of decentralized autonomous organizations. Let's get into it. Welcome to Blockchain 2.0.